Hello, I'm John Clothier and welcome to my workshop. In today's video of my entry into the great guitar build off unofficial for 2020, I'm going to be tackling the inlays. So as I said, we're going to be doing the inlays and so the first thing I need to do is to mark out where they're going to be. So come in closer and I'll show you how I do it. Okay, so here is the neck and it's just holding it into the clamping core just so I can keep it nice and still and keep it positioned. And I've got my scale um, that I got from Crimson Guitars and this has got marked out, bear in mind, look at my 25 inch scale across the bottom here. This actually shows you where all the fret markers need to be. So by using these, it means I make sure I get them in the right places. And all I'm going to do is start with fret number three, which is here, is I just get my pencil, put it right up into the corner of the fret or the fret slot, move my protractor, which is really just a straight edge in this circumstance, so that it matches up with both the corners and draw a line. I then do the same with the other corners. And that should give me a centre spot right in the middle and I can just verify that by making sure that this is all lines up as well, which it does. And I'll go through and do that to each of them. Right, so that's them all marked up. The only one I haven't done is 12, and that's because we're doing a special inlay for here, but the rest of them are all marked. Now for the fret dots, I'm gonna be using this copper rod, and it's just a piece of six mil copper rod. I've measured it, and it's actually coming in at 6.3 millimeters. So I'm gonna use a 6.5 millimeter drill, and I'm gonna drill down just a millimeter or two into each of these, ready for inserting this. Okay, so that is those inlays done. Um, as you can see, it's nice and smooth. I sanded it all the way up to 240 grit again. And then I went up, just hold off, concentrating over the areas around the inlays themselves, I went up to 600 grit. There's still some sort of lines on there, some sanding lines, but I think I can live with that. It gives it a little bit of character. Anyway, um, you will see, obviously notice I've missed out 12th fret. I plan to do something different for there, but I'm now gonna do the side dots. Right, so for the side inlays, I'm gonna use this strip of copper wire, again, to keep with the theme. And it's just over 1.3 millimeters thick, so I'm gonna go for 1.5 millimeter and glue them in. But first of all, I need to find the center for each of them and mark that out. For the 12th fret, I want to do two dots. So I need to divide it into three rather than two. So let's work out the distance. Well, the distance between the two is 19. So I think if I can go for finding the center, And then maybe go three either side. That should give me some good spacing. Right now I need to find the right middle this way. And then I'm just gonna mark those with an all. And now, I can drill them. Right, and now I'll just put a tiny little bit of dollop of glue in the hole. That didn't really work. Right, 
poke in the wire. Cut it off. Right, and now that the super glue is all dried, I'm going to use my fret um, leveling file to flush them to the wood. Now I'm going to have a start on looking at the inlay that's going to be going in here and for that I am going to be using this design. Now you may recognise this, this is the tattoo that Ben Crow has on his head um, and what I've done is I've recreated it um, and I'm going to put that as an inlay and this is again is part of my homage to Ben um, in my sort of respect for him in teaching me pretty much everything I know about guitar building which to be fair isn't a lot but nonetheless I owe it all to him so I've printed out lots of different sizes here and I'm just going to try and find one that looks like it's going to be the best fit and I'm actually thinking that this one looks the best um, so I'm just going to cut that out so it's just a little bit easier to see And of course it's going to be there. And yeah, I think that's going to look quite nice. So anyway, I'm going to get, um, what I'm going to be using for the inlay is this material. And this is some white perloid celluloid sheet. And I need to cut this shape out of it. And I'm going to do that with my scroll saw. So let me get that out. I'll be with you in a second. Okay, so this is the pattern I'm going to use. Uh, so I'm going to turn it over, get a little bit of spray mount, spray it on the back, and take my celluloid sheet and just stick it on. Of course, making sure that it's not overhanging the edges. Now I'm going to turn my attention to the scroll saw and cut this out. Okay, so that's it rough cut out. I still need to drill out these two sections, um, but I'm gonna do the rest of it with a file. Okay, so there is my little inlay done. It's not perfect, but I'm pretty pleased with that for first attempt. So now I need to wrap this out of the neck. Okay, so I know my 12th fret is here, and this is roughly where I want it to be, my inlay. Um, I've seen where Ben has held it down, gone around this with a knife, and then used that as his outline. I don't think I'm gonna be able to hold this still. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some masking tape on the fretboard. You know what, I could probably get away with putting that just in the middle, actually. Just so I don't get confused, I'm going to write 12 on this fret now before I lose my place and end up putting it in the wrong position. Burnish that down. And now... I can kind of work out where I want that to be. Which is about there. So now I'm just gonna take a small amount of super glue and just put a couple of little drops on it. And 
And my hope is that I can position this in the right place, which is there. I'm just going to leave that a few minutes just to set. Now with a scalpel, I'm going to try and score through the masking tape. My hope is to then be able to remove this, leaving the masking tape behind, and that will give me an area to route to. Okay, so now I'm gonna route this out, and for that I'm gonna use my Dremel. I've got it in this little plunge router base. I've set the depth to just shy of the depth of the inlay. I've got a little light here to help me, and yeah, I guess I'm just gonna go for it. Okay, so I think I'm about there. Um, it's certainly not the neatest job in the world, but it goes in and it does fit. Um, it's a little proud in places, um, but of course I can sand that down. So I'm gonna try and put a little bit of super glue in there now, just to hold it in place. Now, hopefully that is done it. Um, but what I need to do now, of course, is to sand it flush. So I'm gonna use my radius beam and just gently sand it. Right, so I've roughly sanded it down you know, to 120, but there's a few little gaps here where I need to try and get in with some sawdust. So I've got some sawdust here from the fretboard. I'm gonna push that in to all the little bits where there's gaps. Then with a little bit of very thin super glue, just go around the edge. I'm going to use my levelling beam now, just to finish it off. We're starting at 180. And then on to 240 to finish the job. And here we go, there is the inlay. It's certainly not the most perfect of jobs, um, but I'm pretty pleased with that. That's the first time I've ever done an inlay, so I'm really happy. I will need to cut now the fret slots, so, or recut these fret slots, so let's get that done. Okay, so that is the neck all sorted out and it is ready for fret work. Um, I have also just run a little triangle file in against each of the fret slots just to make it a little easier to put the frets in. All I need to do now is the holes for the tuna pegs. Right, so I've got this PRS master template here and I'm just using this as a guide. Um, I'm just trying to work out roughly where they need to be, the tuners. So I'm gonna use these little holes as a rough guide. So just drawing them in. And what I'm now gonna do is just make sure that they're equal distance in either end and just make sure that they're lined up. Now just a quick sanity check and then we'll take this over to the pillar drill 
and drill them out. You're Right, so I have just put the machine heads in just to try it out, and I'm really happy with the way that that is looking. Um, the height is not quite right between them. Um, this one could have done with being exactly in between these two, but it's not, it's a little bit higher. But this way, they're absolutely spot on. I'm really pleased with that. Anyway, I'm gonna leave this episode there. Um, obviously, I still need to do the fret work, and obviously the nut still needs to be made and it still needs a little cover for the truss rod and of course it needs some finish applying however i think in the next video i should really turn my attention to the body and measure out the recess for this bit to go into and then i can start doing all the other bits that i need for that as well anyway i hope you've enjoyed it um if you are new here i do invite you to hit that subscribe button um it really does help me out a lot to have all the the likes and the views and the subscribers and that way you also will get to see future videos. But anyway, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.